Unterschied zum Hallenklettern? The major difference between indoor climbing and alpine climbing is that alpine climbing takes place outdoors in nature. We must therefore learn to deal with the weather, with the natural conditions, and identify outdoor alpine hazards and always take them into account. The main problem with storms is that I need to be able to reckon with factors such as moisture, ice, falling rocks, mud flow, or lightning. These may all cause situations to quickly turn dangerous. The weather can quickly change in the mountains, particularly if there's a cold front. There are often no warning signs, and it can happen very abruptly. I need to take this into account both while planning and during the climb, checking the sky every now and again, and ideally get back down before a storm front arrives. Storms are one of the most unpleasant, but also the common objective hazards when climbing. Storms normally occur between May and August. We differentiate between two types of storms, frontal storms and heat storms. A heat storm is a localized weather occurrence and can be recognized by the cumulus clouds that form and take on a tower shape. Heat storms normally occur from midday to the afternoon. They're localized and very threatening. When you recognize the initial signs, there is only one option, to execute an immediate retreat. Frontal storms often represent the end of a period of fine weather in the form of a sudden drop in temperature. Significant cloud thickening is an indication of this. The sky becomes darker and darker when looking to the west. If we're on an easterly rock face, we often notice this phenomenon too late. In mountain climbing, and above all in alpine climbing, we need to be able to deal with the issue of storms particularly adeptly. This means we need to be able to recognize signs of storms and alarm signals. Fast cumulus cloud formation is an initial sign of storms arriving. You can monitor this if cumulus clouds rise higher and higher, if over days there are increased signs of storms brewing, and by watching out for warnings and weather reports. Alarm signals for storms are storm clouds, typical anvil-shaped clouds, then gusty wind, showers of sleet, and electrical charge, which you'll recognize from metal objects buzzing or your hair standing on end. A sign of heightened alarm is if the time between lightning and thunder is less than nine seconds. If I'm caught in a storm, ideally I should retreat to a shelter as fast as possible or at least get away from exposed positions, such as ridges or summits, where lightning is most likely to strike. It's also important to get away from metal items because they conduct and attract lightning, so ice axes, crampons, carabiners and so on are not good during a storm. If I don't have a cabin nearby, then I need to take appropriate action by looking for somewhere away from ridges and summits. Somewhere unexposed, ideally in a valley, away from flowing water. There I should sit in a crouched position on my backpack with my legs together, perhaps on my rope, and wait for the storm to pass. It's important to wait long enough and not to think, okay, 10 minutes have passed, and leave the protected area. Typically, you should stay for at least half an hour in the protected area. Bleiben.